and welcome back to Epic Arms. Today, we're gonna to be reviewing the Discovery HD 5 to 30 by 56. So, I've been looking at this optic for the longest time, and as you guys already know, I have a retail website, and I'd been debating for a while if I should retail this one on the website or not. I asked the opinion of a few other people, and it came to, well, yes, for a few good reasons. So this optic is not perfect by any means, but it has a ton of value for what it is. So the Discovery HD 5-30x56 retails for around $420 Canadian, or that's probably somewhere around $350 US. It has the key features is it has 33 mils of internal adjustment, 10 mils per revolution. It's got a zero stop, a 34 millimeter tube, a 5 to 30 magnification. It's basically a full featured long range precision optic, but at a extremely affordable uh, price. So starting with probably one of the most important parts being the glass quality. And this is primarily why I was hesitant to retail it on the website. So the glass quality in this is great, but it has a fisheye effect in the glass, which is noticeable if you know what you're looking for. So for those of you who have high-end optics, you'll probably spot it fairly soon. For those of you, maybe this is your first optic, you might not even notice it. Some people that I showed this to, they had no idea what I was talking about, and it looked great to them. So that's why I decided after all, okay, well, I will put it on the website, but I will ensure people are aware of that when they do buy it. Other than the little fisheye effect around the outside of the image, the center of the image is really nice and crystal clear and super sharp. As you can see here, this is a 5G tower at 2,000 yards away, and, well, fortunately or unfortunately, that fisheye effect is, like, not even noticeable on the camera, so... How am I supposed to show you something that I'm talking about? Other than that, you guys can tell that the glass quality is particularly very sharp in, I'd say, like 90% of the scope image that you are seeing. So glass quality is great, and also it has a fisheye effect. That's really the downside of this optic. The rest of this optic is pretty darn good, with a few slight little flaws. Now, let's go do some long-range shooting. Now you really won't be complaining too much about seeing your impacts or seeing your misses. The glass quality in this, which is HD glass, is pretty darn decent. I do believe it is Chinese HD glass, but hey, it does the job and at this price, my expectations are a lot lower. Next, let's talk about the field of view. So on this optic, it has a particularly wide field of view. So typically a 5 to 25 magnification optic has around 5 feet at 100 yards at the highest magnification and it has 25 feet at the lowest. This one, which is a 5 to 30, at the 5 magnification has 25 feet and on the 30 magnification has 4, which it's very much in line with the widest field of view optics in the 5 to 30 range, which are priced typically much, much higher. Next, let's talk about the Focus Parallax. So in optics at this price point, fit and finish is something that's a major challenge to get under control in terms of consistency. Not just one unit being smooth and the rest being all over the place in terms of stiffness, but fit and finish in terms of quality control for Discovery has, they've been doing really, really good, and especially on this unit. They did a few things, I think, to mitigate the issues that they could face had they put a smaller focus parallax wheel. While you are noticing that the focus parallax wheel is particularly large, well, this gives you more leverage and makes it feel smoother and makes it easier to turn the wheel. Had they put it the same size as where you see that number, you'd probably find it stiffer than necessary. So I think they did a great job making this larger than what you typically see. Now, if we go to the bottom, focus starts at 25 yards, 50, 100, 200, and 500 in infinity. So in terms of grading, I would say this is pretty much great for center fire and you know what, even rim fire PRS. If you're going for center fire, 
I would probably normally recommend you go with its big brother, which is the Discovery ED PRS 5 to 25 by 56. It's not always the case that more magnification equals a better optic. The glass quality and basically everything else in the 5 to 25 by 56 is better than the 5 to 30. So, and the numbers on this unit do match the distance indicated. Also, in terms of fit and finish, as we were discussing earlier, the magnification on this one is decently smooth. So it's it's not as smooth as an optic you're gonna see around $1,200, but I'd say it's about as smooth as optics we typically see around $800 Canadian. Next, let's talk about the turret. So this is really where the mean potatoes of this optic is. It has a lot going for that. They could have done a few things, since this is a Gen 2, in my opinion, they could have done a few things to make it even better than what it is, but we're gonna to touch on that pretty soon. So it has 10 mils per revolution. It has 33 mil radians of internal adjustment for $420 Canadian or around 350 US. That's pretty damn exceptional. There are very, very few companies that can compete with these kind of deliverables. So 10 mils per revolution is a big feature. Zero stop, which it does have. One thing I think they could have done is the second numbers on the second revolution. So not a revolution indicator, but above, let's say the one, they could have put 11, above the two, 12, and so forth. So you don't have to go and figure it out yourself. Because if you are in a rimfire competition, eh, it's just one extra thing to count, one extra thing to distract you. So without further ado, let's go test these turrets. All right, let's start with the box test. Let's go three mils down. Three mils right. Okay, back to zero and back to zero. Let's test the tracking. Let's go three mils down. Three, six, nine, 12, 15. It's pretty much perfect. All right, let's see how much internal adjustment it has. That's good. And that's it. All right. And that's it. And that's it. All right, let's see if there's any point of impact change with magnification. I don't think I've seen an optic at this price point that tracks nearly this well. Typically what I see in optics at this price point, if I end up reviewing them, <laughs> and I have sent some back to the companies that have sent to me their optics and just said, listen, the, tra the, the tracking in your optic is just not sufficient for me to give them an overall positive review on the optic. And that's generally how I operate when companies send me their optics to review. And with this one, this thing tracks like so well. This thing tracks like as, as, as close as I can test, really. If you looked at uh, the tracking test, let's say really close, if you zoomed in with your phone, you would see that center reticle like lines up perfectly with that 15 milliradian mark. So they did a great job at ensuring that the tracking guarantee is actually perfect and spot on. I don't think there's much that can compete with the tracking on the Discovery HD 5 to 30 by 56. So yeah, pretty damn freaking amazing. Next, let's talk about the reticle. So this is something that I've actually had one return for. The reticle is pretty thin. I mean, you can see it for yourself here. On a 30 magnification optic, it is going to be fairly thin at the other magnifications. But this one, in my opinion, is, is even a little bit thin at 30 magnification, which renders it probably a little bit on the thin side at the 8 magnification. So above 8 magnification, I don't think you're going to complain, but maybe a bit below that and you're going to find that, hey, it's not ideal. But if you really want a finer reticle, this I think is really, really going to float your boat. And then again, you can see on the screen exactly how thick or thin it is. Also, it is illuminated as six different intensities with an offsetting between each setting. It takes a 30, 20, 32 battery, which you can get at the dollar store. Now, aside from that, this optic does come in a kit, 
which is pretty awesome. It comes with high scope rings, which are included in the kit, which are gonna be perfect if you have something like a Tika Tech A1, a Ruger RPR, or any kind of flat topped rifle. If you have like a Remington 700 style or a Tika T1X, CZ457, you're gonna think this is gonna look ridiculous, and it will. What you are gonna to wanna to do is pick up a set of Discovery Premium 34 millimeter medium height rings, which we actually do have on the website. And for the price, these are bloody amazing. These are premium quality rings at, I'd say pre-COVID prices. So prior to COVID, everything went up 50 bucks and they're making stuff that are fantastic. These ones retail for like 90 bucks Canadian. So again, we have them on the website, cdnprecision.com. Now, aside from that, it does come with a sunshade and that's all pretty much that comes with the package. So, in terms of warranty, how does it work? Well, the Discovery HD 5 to 30 by 56 does come with a lifetime warranty. If you're in Canada, it's gonna be fulfilled by me. You're gonna get it less than a week, depending how far you are from Ontario. So it covers everything that is not like superficial. If you scratch it all up, it's still functional, then it's, well, it's not covered. If it is no longer functional, if let's say the track and the turrets, like there's some kind of damage internally, in that case, absolutely, we will cover it. And these are rated for 338 Lapua Magnum, so they're not just rimfire optics, they're also centerfire optics. Now, what are my overall thoughts about the Discovery HD 5 to 30 by 56? Regardless that it tracks really, really, really well, and everything else is decent in terms of fit and finish and all that stuff, the price is amazing, the glass quality, um, it really depends. If you're somebody who's pretty picky in terms of optics, I would again push you to Discovery EDPRS 5 to 25 by 56. Um, there's nothing wrong with it whatsoever in terms of optical design. This one, that slight fisheye effect, is something I like to mention more than I like to not mention just because you might not be satisfied. So for everybody else though, who just wants something that they can do some extreme long range shooting rim fire or potentially even center fire, that means, then this is fantastic. There's really nothing on the market that can compete with 420 bucks, 32 mils of internal adjustment, 10 mils per revolution, zero stop, good quality glass, decent fit and finish, with rings included in a sunshade, there really isn't much that competes. So I would probably recommend this for the extreme long range rim fire shooter who maybe isn't a pro yet, but wants something to start off with. So that's my thoughts on the Discovery HD 5 to 30 by 56. Again, if you want to pick one up and maybe even some scope rings, you can find us at cdnprecision.com.